Hey everyone, Sumo Spiffy here. Welcome to our latest preview for Natsu 2023, this one for Miyogiryu and Kagiyaki. Before we start, a programming note. As I'm recording this, I don't know if this will actually be a fight on day 8. However, I'm judging a Muay Thai event on Saturday which is 4.5 hours away, so I need to upload this, schedule it for after the day 7 action, and get to sleep before the day 8 Torakumi is released. Likewise, I'm likely to get home quite late and collapse on Saturday, so I have another video set up for day 9, and I'm crossing my fingers it'll be relevant. Regardless, I hope you enjoy them. Alright, Miyogiryu and Kagiyaki. This is another even lifetime matchup with each wrestler winning 6 of their 12 fights. We'll watch the last 4 of those. Miyogiryu's won 3, so let's see if he's actually getting the upper hand or if that's just the strange odds of sumo at work. Their first match was in March 2022. Miyogiryu is just a touch faster on the tachi eye. Kagiyaki's right hand comes in high, his left lower, but both are too far outside to stop Miyogiryu from getting a double-handed throat hold immediately. Miyogiryu can only hold the position though, his feet shuffle but he makes no progress, giving Kagiyaki a time to find a way out. Kagiyaki does this by rising up with a left hand push to Miyogiryu's chest. Can we just take a moment and appreciate the wrist flexibility necessary for this by the way? On one foot, Miyogiryu looks more off balance than he actually is, he stomps down directly into a solid stance and reaches for Kagiyaki's belt. Kagiyaki pinches with his left, preventing the grab, and they hand fight on the opposite side. Now there's a small push and push back without much ground covered until Miyogiryu releases, pushing away Kagiyaki's hands and retreating. Kagiyaki catches up immediately, landing a double handed push, but by the time Miyogiryu's to the rope, he's popped Kagiyaki's hands off him and Kagiyaki instantly responds by whipping his arms around top of Miyogiryu's for an attempted double clamp. He hasn't quite caught Miyogiryu's left though, which allows Miyogiryu to push and circle away from the rope. Kagiyaki attempts to counter with a right-handed throat hold, but this is a tactical error. Miyogiryu is still spinning, which puts Kagiyaki's back to the rope. Kagiyaki immediately releases the hold and tries to swipe up on Miyogiryu's pushing left arm, but Miyogiryu leans down on it to blunt Kagiyaki's defense. Even though Kagiyaki is able to lift Miyogiryu's arm, he can't get the left hand away from him fast enough, allowing Miyogiryu a final face push for the win. They followed that up at Natsu 2022. Punch! さあ、妙義龍が右が入りまして。おい、ケイ。ここから妙義龍がどう攻めるかです。マイネルの構えです。妙義龍のこの左からの突け。おい、ケイ。おい。なかった。揺さぶって。Kagiyaki comes at this Tachiai the same way as last time, but Miyogiryu takes a much different approach keeping his arms down. It makes sense that he would switch it up given that he landed the throat hold exactly as planned last time and it did basically nothing. This time, he and Kagiyaki end up in a more neutral position, each one getting a left arm clamp on the other's right. Kagiyaki snaps his right arm free, but in doing so releases his own clamp just enough for Miyogiryu to dig in and get his right arm around Kagiyaki's back. Worse for Kagiyaki is that, if you look closely, Miyogiryu has locked the clamp back in. Miyogiryu pushes off just enough to get his head on the other side of Kagiyaki's. This makes sense, since having his head on that side allows him to put more weight on the clamp. Unfortunately, this gives Kagiyaki a chance to break the clamp and get his hand more solidly on Miyogiryu's chest. We can see this from the opposite angle. The taller Kagiyaki bears down on Miyogiryu, and we enter the holding pattern that we sometimes see in sumo matches. Miyogiryu is very well set defensively, so Kagiyaki can't easily attack, but this position also makes his own attack very difficult. Kagiyaki switches his clamp from Miyogiryu's upper arm to his wrist. 
It's clearly intentional, but I don't know the reason. Clamping further down Miyogiryu's arm should make it easier for Mio to escape. It could be that this is necessary for Kagiyaki's offensive ideas, otherwise I can't guess why. Finally, Kagiyaki drives forward, but where he probably anticipated resistance, Miyogiryu immediately retreats instead and attempts a pulldown. It doesn't work though. Here we can see Kagiyaki's right hand still on Miyogiryu's back, which is how he's able to hold on. Despite the thwarted attack, Kagiyaki reasserts his high left arm clamp as they battle for hand position on the other side. They return to another long static hold, until Miyogiryu steps back with his left foot and pulls, turning to the right. If you watched the Aoyama and Kotoeko video, I mentioned the same thing that happens here. The two are in opposite stances, so Miyogiryu angles his move to pull Kagiyaki as much away from his front foot as possible. Kagiyaki's left foot does catch up, but by the time it does, Miyogiryu's right hand is planted on his chest for an upward push. Miyogiryu pushes Kagiyaki in the other direction before his balance recovers, sending him up on one foot but Kagiyaki still gets his weight down and clamps with his left again. As we see from the other angle, he's also battling to control Miyogiryu's left arm. He has it pushed inside and has pretty solid control at this moment. But Miyogiryu simply yanks his left arm free, which sends Kagiyaki off balance yet again. He finally achieves a good attacking angle and controls Kagiyaki's left shoulder with both hands, letting him land the Katasukashi. Kagiyaki gave himself every opportunity to control this fight, but could not find a way to mount any offense. They met again a few Bashos later in November. Well, that was anticlimactic. But at least Kagiyaki gave us a win to study. This time, he changes up his Tachiai, going for Miyogiryu's face rather than trying to control his arms. This is a pretty logical change considering he did a nearly perfect job of controlling Mio's arms last time and it got him nowhere. However, he's only able to land the right hand, Mio's right arm stayed over Kagiyaki's left and blocked it. Mio Giryu pushes up with his left elbow, shucking Kagiyaki's right hand. He's defended Kagiyaki's Tachiai well. With Kagiyaki stood up and his plan thwarted, Mio Giryu lowers his head and dives in. However, his feet slip just a bit just as Kagiyaki's right hand returns to his jaw. Kagiyaki pushes down with the right, and even face butts Mio in the back. Neither move appears to apply much force, but with sumo wrestlers that's a relative statement. Everything they do applies force. Mio stumbles, and although Kagiyaki misses his push here, it doesn't matter. There are a lot of fights where guys slip and lose the chance at a comeback, but they weren't in a good spot to start with. Here, Mio Giryu handled the Tachiai correctly and was in a favorable position. The slip was small, but it was still enough for Kagiyaki to take advantage of in the moment. Their last fight was Last Basho, Haru 2023. <laughs> this time, Mio's right arm darts straight towards the belt on the Tachiai, while his left swings up from below. Kagiyaki returns to his right high left low Tachiai, Presumably the last one was just a bit of trickery, and he has no intention of being predictable with it, especially since it really didn't work. Mio can't get in. Kagiyaki clamps the right arm. Mio Giryu, who has to be sick to death at this point of getting that arm locked down, frees it enough to turn this position into a pushing battle. This still works at least somewhat to Kagiyaki's advantage though, and Mio is pushed back. Mio Giryu swipes Kagiyaki's left arm away, after all, if the other guy is pushing harder, it's better for you if neither of you push at all. Kagiyaki drives in and jams Mio Giryu against the rope. However, this is an excellent defensive position for Mio. In what is very much a repeat of the first fight we saw, Mio Giryu circles quickly to the left and Kagiyaki again extends his right hand to the face. However, this time he's ready for Mio to defend himself and gets his hands out of the way as Mio Giryu tries to swipe them to the side, making him completely miss. In the first fight, Mio accepted the throat hold and kept circling, so it's possible Kagiyaki was trying to bait him into this that time as well, and it just didn't work. In any case, the miss makes Mio slip badly, and Kagiyaki charges in while he tries to recover. But Mio Giryu pushes the attacking right hand away, and from the opposite angle, we see his right arm controlling the left. Mio braces against the rope again, holding Kagiyaki back. 
At this moment, he recognizes that Kagiaki is in full attack mode, and he's not in a great position to withstand it. So he sidesteps, pushing down on Kagiaki's left hand to get it off his armpit, and Kagiaki is now so twisted up, Mio finishes the job with a little aura magic. So, can Kagiaki beat Miyogiri without the Dokyo's help? Maybe. From these fights, he appears to have at least a small edge in physicality, considering how much more often he controlled Mio than the reverse. However, Miyogiryu has an obvious tactical advantage, and lately it's been enough to negate Kagiaki's offense pretty much completely. But Mio's also gotten a little lucky. In the last fight, for example, he made one mistake and was only just able to recover in time to squeak out a win. However, Kagiaki's biggest issue is that this moment, he appears completely incapable of mustering any real offense against anyone. If that's actually the case, he should be a sitting duck for Mio's tactics. That's it for day 8. Like it if you learned something, and I'll see you tomorrow.